Kenya, we continue to record very high maternal mortality. And number one killer is postpartum hemorrhage. Maternal mortality around the world has somewhere between 350 and 500,000 women that will unnecessarily lose their life in the next 12 months. And uh, at least a third of those will be from postpartum hemorrhage. And we have seen midwives just stopping to conduct deliveries because of their experience with postpartum hemorrhage. It's something that you don't want to remember as a nurse or as a midwife. And more so, when you look at the body going, and you know this is something we could have prevented. So, when we asked ourselves, how can we honestly respond to the number one reason that women die in the community from pregnancy-related causes? It was very difficult. We discovered that in the Western world, uh, that there's something called a uterine balloon. We bought 20 of these devices, and we discovered they're single use only, and after 20, we recognized that, that this was gonna break the piggy bank because they cost over $300 a piece. So we realized we had to de design our own device. So when AIT came and introduced the uterine balloon, actually it was like a revolution. I remember when we saw it, Another midwife that was with us on that day, I just say that this is what we have been waiting for. Our first uh, uterine balloon was uh, designed specifically for the package that we rolled out in South Sudan for maternal newborn child survival. So in Kenya, we, uh, with our very close partners, KMET, selected 12 sites uh, and we selected these 12 sites because they were able to give us historical data. We've now implemented the balloon two and a half months ago, and there are now 10 cases of women that have hemorrhaged severely, the balloon's been placed, and the women have survived. And that's incredibly exciting. From the cases that we have collected so far, we have really good stories to share about the uterine balloon. The recent one came from CIA. So this lady who came to us, she went ahead to deliver comfortably, but immediately after the delivery, within like 10, 15 minutes, before, when the placenta was delivered, she started pouring, just developed a very bad PPH. So she was pouring and pouring. We did everything that's conventional. We ensured the bladder was empty. We gave you, we did uterine massage. We gave all the oxytocins, nothing. We have a protocol in Kenya that we use for PPH management, but there are times when all these fail. All these fail and you just see stars. You just get a blackout as a midwife. So while the woman is going to the next referral site, what do we need to do? Traditionally, the midwives could put a fist, hold on the abdomen, the uterus, and the fist like that, and ensure that that pressure, you are helping to, uh, to facilitate the uterine contraction. This kit uh, uses a catheter and then has a condom tied to the end of that. And then using a syringe, essentially a, a device that has 60 cc's ability to push water into um, the catheter, we are subsequently able to put this uh, balloon up inside of a uterus and then um, blow it up with water. One of the areas of great concern is, would there be too much pressure that it potentially would rupture a uterus? With friends over at the MIT Media Lab had uh, our first device uh, pressure tested and um, uh, we were quite encouraged by the results. PATH, an organization in Seattle that's focused on innovations and technologies, actually repeated that testing and, and again were quite encouraging in the results that, that the pressure was not so great that uh, we had to worry about rupturing the uterus. So basically what we did, we tried the UBT technique and uh, you know it was a, like a desperate measure because at some point we knew we were losing the mother. Yeah, everyone knew that we were going to lose the mother. So we put in the, the, the balloon, just the way we'd been shown by Kemet. We, uh, we inflated it with around 60 cc of water. Then we put in um, you know, the, the balloon to hold it back from coming out. 
then it worked like a miracle. So with the uterine balloon, it's very simple. We have already costed it. And this is only including the package is 500 Kenya shillings. That is like uh, approximately $5. So when we met the Minister of Health and shared the stories from the field, they are willing and ready to partner with Kimet and AIT and we roll it nationally and document the results from the field. So everybody is really excited about this magic kit. So potentially, you know, from what we're seeing, and I, I want to be careful about saying this because it's a non-scientific statement, but, uh, but, but we have the potential to save a few hundred thousand women every year with this device broadly scaled. Every woman on this planet ought to have access to a uterine balloon if she has a postpartum hemorrhage.